Today we're going to look at whole number multiplication and division. So a product is the result of multiplication. Products can be found using the multiplication algorithm. So once again, an algorithm is just a procedure for working out an answer, for finding and solving a problem. A quotient and remainder is the result of division. So quotients can be determined using the short division algorithm. So for any division, a few terms we need to know. The number that we are, the larger number that we are dividing the small number into is called the dividend. And this, the, the other number that we're actually dividing into the dividend is called the divisor. The result, the result of that division is a quotient, which is the number of, uh, of items that do fit into the, uh, the number of divisors that fit into the dividend. And the remainder is the number of uh, number that we're left over with from the dividend that doesn't evenly divide into the divisor. If the divisor goes exactly into the dividend, then we won't have any remainder. It'll be a remainder of zero. Both commutative and associative laws hold for multiplication, but not for division. So the commutative law is that two numbers, two uh, numbers who are, that are being multiplied can be multiplied in any order. So two times three is the same as three times two. It doesn't work for division though. The associative law says that we can multiply uh, those uh, three numbers in any order. So if we had uh, two times three times four, we could do the two times three first or the three times four first. It doesn't matter. That's what these laws mean, the commutative law and the associative law. So if we have a look at some examples of using the multiplication algorithm, the division algorithm, first we've got to multiply and then we've got a division here. So the multiplication algorithm, 412 times 25. Firstly, we multiply the ones column and the, that result goes down here. So the ones column, we've got here five times two is 10, carry the one over. One times five is five, plus that extra one that we had left over is six. Then we've got five times four is 20. So for the ones column, we get 2060. Now for the tens column, we've got two here, but it's not, it's not two we're multiplying by, it's 20. So the two, there's the two zero there. And we can uh, make, make sure that we're multiplying by 20 and not two by adding uh, this zero down here. So I've, I've put the zero down there and that's forced this into the tens column rather than just multiplying by uh, the ones column. So now we've got the zero here, we can multiply everything just by two and we'll get the result as if we were multiplying by 20. So two times two is four, two times one is two, and two times four is eight. So then we can add these two numbers. So zero plus zero is zero, six plus four is 10, carry the one. One plus zero plus two is three, and two plus eight is 10. So our 412 times 25 is 10,300, and this is the multiplication algorithm. For our second part here, our division, using the short division algorithm, uh, 938 divided by 13. Notice that we've got the dividend inside the short division algorithm and the divisor out, outside uh, the short division algorithm. So if we have a look at 9, 13 doesn't go into 9, um, it goes in 0 times, so notice there's nothing above there, but 93, 13 goes into 93 7 times with 2 left over, so a remainder of 2. Then we have 28 here. 13 goes into 28 two times with two left over. So there's a remainder of two.